All right. Hi guys, Maddie May. We're going to jump in and dive in and talk about website user experience, which I am really, really excited about. Um, I have pulled a whole bunch of website examples, which I'm really stoked to go over. So um, before we dive in and, you know, go over people's sites, and I just wanted to say thanks everyone so much who offered to like volunteered to have your website critiqued publicly on this video. I know I was really blown away by how many of you were like, yeah, sure, you know, show me. I just want to learn. And I am so glad that we've cultivated such a great um, learning environment in here that's just really positive. Um, you know, it websites are hard and there's something that like pretty much every photographer that I've ever mentored struggled with. Like I really struggled with websites before I understood marketing. I think there, there are just so many common, really simple mistakes that I've seen on so many photographer sites and historically and in the last like four days looking over like 300 photographer sites. <laughs> so um, I will not be able to get to every single site that you all dropped because there were like 300 of them. Um, but I'm, I've, I've picked a bunch that I think um, will be able to be super applicable because I just really saw the exact same mistakes being repeated over and over again on so many people's sites. So even if your specific site, um, even though you were so brave to volunteer, did not get critiqued in this video, um, like it doesn't mean that it was bad or it was good. It was just like I picked a sampling and I'm going to just go through like what are the common mistakes um, with user experience and website design and like not being clearly communicative on your site that I see over and over and that I think are keeping people who, you know, maybe have great marketing, who are doing really good on Instagram, who are doing good on SEO, who have a good Facebook following or are running ads to their website. Um, and for whatever reason, you're getting traffic there, but I'm going to go over some really big reasons why like the homepage of your website in particular could really be holding you back from actually getting bookings. And honestly, like the homepage of, of your site matters so, so much. And so I'm going to go over like a bunch of stuff that's going to help a ton. So um, basically, really quickly, I think the overarching thing that I want to communicate in this video is I know that we're photographers. I know that we got into this business because we are artistic and creative and that, you know, we focus a lot on how our images look and there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, be an artist, create amazing photos for sure do that but know that your photos alone when it comes to your website and when it comes to getting hired are actually not are actually not what's going to make you stand out and i know that that sounds nuts and i feel free to disagree with me that is fine but from a marketing perspective i think thinking that your photos alone are what's making you stand out and are all that you really need on your site in order to get people to click contact me is a huge, huge misconception. It's a huge, huge myth. It is just like the epitome of what I call and what's called like myopic marketing, which is just thinking, you know, marketing from a perspective um, of all of the knowledge that you already have. Um, I'm going to recommend a book, which is my favorite marketing book on the planet. Honest to God, I, it will change your perspective on marketing. It's called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. It's super, super good. I'm going to reference it a couple of times in this video because it's just hits home so well to like the core of so many key marketing mistakes that photographers are making on their website with myopic marketing. What do I mean by that? I mean, when you go, when you try to market your, yourself and you're coming, you're coming with all of this knowledge, you're coming with like, I know who I am. I know what I do. I know all these things about the industry. I know how my service works. I know like how couples are supposed to like walk through my process. I know how my site works. I know where all the things on my site are. I know what I want someone to do when they come to my site. And that knowledge is, can, can really be a curse when it comes to marketing because that knowledge that you have in your brain can hold you back from effectively communicating because the issue is with myopic marketing and what my, my, my what myopic marketing is, is you're assuming that level of knowledge and you are kind of marketing from your own perspective instead of getting in the shoes of someone else who is trying to come to your site and trying to hire you and really putting yourself in their shoes and thinking like, if I wasn't a photographer, if I had no idea how any of this works, if I had never been to my site before, if I knew where none of it was, like none of the information that I was looking for was, 
if I had yeah, no idea how the process worked, if I didn't know exactly when I got to a site, what I was supposed to do, how would I design my site? And I think 90 plus percent of photographers are not thinking about that. And that really shows in your website design because really it is, um, you know, it's, it's just coming from this perspective. And I think, I think photographers would change so much of the way that they do customer service and marketing if they understood the very simple idea that your clients are not photographers. They are not professional photographers. They, when they make decisions about who they're hiring, like they, they're not photography judges. They are not looking at 25 different sites and like evaluating with a scorecard, like your images versus someone else. That's not how they're making a decision about who they're hiring. Yes, they can tell the difference between good photos and bad photos, but more often than not in an industry that is this saturated, like more and more work just seems to look more and more of the same. And so if you think that your images alone are all that you need to have on your site and all that you need to be able to communicate the value of what you do and get people to contact you, I really want to tell you you are grossly, grossly mistaken. And I want to save you from like not getting inquiries because of that perspective, because it is costing you so much money right now and holding you back. And so um, your clients are not photographers. They don't stare at a thousand images a day and can they can't tell the difference between your preset and that other person's preset and your lens and that other person's lens and that tiny little minute difference in the way you pose and that person poses yes of course like there are differences in style aesthetically you know like people can tell like big changes in differences of style and of quality of work yes i'm just saying it's kind of like asking me to, you know, I'm not a wine connoisseur. I like wine, like I'll drink wine, like great, wine's good. But if you gave me like a hundred dollar bottle of wine, which is like nice wine, and like a five hundred dollar bottle of wine, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you gave me probably like a thirty dollar bottle of wine and a five hundred dollar bottle of wine, I still don't think I'd actually be able to tell you, oh yeah, this is for sure like worth more than ten times more than that. Like I I don't know if you played a $10,000 violin and a $1,000 violin for me, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Whereas someone who was a violinist would be like, what? You can't tell? Are you serious? Like that one is like totally tonal. Or I don't even know. I don't play violin. But it's like you're marketing from a, from a myopic place of, of like expecting like the people who are trying to hire you having the same level of knowledge and expertise and understanding of all the industry and announce the jargon like how this all works is a huge, huge mistake. And so I'll get into this and I'll like show concrete examples of what I mean. But honestly, that was like the number one thing that stood out to me from doing this exercise of looking at 300 photographers sites. Um, so um, a couple of other, so basically looking through 300 photographers sites, I will say at a certain point, so many of them started to look the same. And I can tell you right now how 90% of photographers, at least photographers I looked at sites were laid out. So pretty much this is how it always goes. You have giant photos and like mostly there was so many sites that had just like only photos above the fold. And what I mean by the fold. So if you're on a desktop, the fold is like the real estate that you see in the screen when you type in someone's site, it's like what you automatically come to. That's the fold. So above the fold, it's the only page, it's the only part of your entire site that guaranteed 100% of the people who click on your link and wait for your page to load will see. That's like, it is absolutely incredibly valuable real estate. It's like beachfront, uh, you know, Key West, whatever. It's like crazy, crazy valuable real estate. And there are so many photographers that are wasting that space on their site that is not being effective in the slightest. And I will go over some examples because I want to help everybody understand how important that part of your site is to getting people to stay on it, to end up, you know, going where you want them to go on their site and eventually get to your contact page. So, um, pretty much every photographer just has like lots of massive photos above the fold and like not a whole lot else. Um, maybe they have some navigation. Some people did not have navigation above the fold. Some navigation was easy to see. Some of it was extremely difficult to see. Um, some people, it was like very, very difficult to navigate sites. So I'm going to go through, um, through what I mean by that. Um, and then as soon as you scroll down just a little bit, the thing I saw in like 90% of photographer sites was a section that was just all about the photographer. So it was like, 
here's some images and let me tell you like right off the bat all about me. And I realized that this kind of general layout of photographer sites is everywhere. It's super pre pre prevalent. You're probably wondering like, what is wrong with that? And so I will show you like not, it's not necessarily wrong. It's just, it's not as effective as it could be. So, and I realized that almost every like website builder and like template that's like marketed to photographers like that, it, it's just because we're all using the, the templates that we've been sold our photographer sites templates. And that's how they're all laid out is beautiful photos and then a bio right below the, the, the fold. And some people had effective bios, some people did not. But in general, the other massive, massive topic that I wanna communicate about like a huge mistake that you could be making on your site right now is again, only talking about you and only thinking of yourself. And so it, you have to put yourself in the shoes of someone coming to your site for the first time who has no idea who you are, like no, I, no idea. And like, if, if you're, you know, if, if you're working on website SEO and if you're Googling something and you come across a site and you've never been in this person's site before, you do not know who they are at that point. Think of the last time, I mean, if any of you have searched for wedding vendors before and you've Googled, you know, a local florist or a local officiant or anything like that, and you, you understand and like have remembered the process of like browsing and different people. And like when you come to each person's new site, you don't know who they are. You at that moment don't care, like you're not emotionally invested in that person yet. Like you might be later, but at that moment, when you first meet them, when you first come to their site, you're not thinking about them. You're not thinking, oh, how interesting. Like, I'm so glad like that I know that this person now likes Starbucks and uh, you know, likes, uh, I don't, what did I even see? Like, likes Beanie Babies and um, you know, doing the, these things. Like, no, in that moment, you don't actually care. At that exact m moment in time, like who that photographer is, what they like you you don't actually care at that moment about them and this is like a whole bigger like branding topic but essentially i think over what and it just screams it just comes across as like really poignantly on people's sites that it's like their site is like almost like a person it, it's just like a personal profile um and not in an effective way it's it's it, it's it's just like you're not site people are not communicating like I'm coming to your site. I'm not being communicated. What is the benefit to me for staying here? Like, what are you going to be able to do for me? That is the burning question on anyone's mind when they come to your site. Not, I want to get to know this person better. Like they will eventually, but at that first moment when they come to the homepage of your site, having no idea who you are, never encountered your brand before, you need to be communicating to them right off of that above the fold on the very first like homepage of your website, what value you are providing to the couple like to whatever client your business serves it's like what value are you like if i put myself in 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 the shoes of, of of someone coming coming to your site my burning question when it comes to your site is can you help me can you solve my problem can you do what i need you to do if i am looking for an elopement photographer um which is what my business does if i come to your site and i am like a person thinking about eloping my burning question is what benefit am I going to be getting from hiring you over hiring someone else? Why should I pick you? And what are you going to do for me? That is the burning question on my mind. That is what needs to be answered clear front and center on the homepage of your site. Like not all the little like super adorable things that make you unique as a human being. That's great. That's adorable. Like keep that on your site, put it on your about page, but like that's not, that's like not effective as the very first information that's being communicated to whoever is on your site, because at that exact moment, they're not ready yet. They're not warmed up yet. They're not like ready to instantly care about your two dogs and your husband and that you love to travel. Like that's great. And I'm not saying don't have that on your site. I'm saying like, I, what, I imagining myself as a person coming to your site from the first time going to site after site, it was like, cool great glad you like to travel like how is that helping me in this moment like how is that actually helping me what benefit am i being what benefit am i being provided as someone coming to your site so hopefully that that makes sense it is you know this is like the biggest mistakes that i saw over and over again were like thinking that photos only are going to sell your services which they don't like words are what is going to convince people you need to be talking to the people who are on your site do not just have an image only site it's terrible 
for SEO. It's terrible for marketing. It, yes, I saw some beautiful, absolutely stunning, like graph, they should win graphic design awards for being beautiful, like stunning, stunning, stunning sites. And most of them were incredibly, un, like so hard to navigate and incredibly ineffective. And so it's like so many photographers are making a mistake of like focusing on design over your over user experience and it's so easy to do because we are like served these templates like all the time that are ineffective and that are designed that exact same way so that it makes sense why most photographer sites look this way so um focusing on design over you user experiences and then what i just said like talking about themselves and themselves only and that isn't convincing people that is not motivating people that is not um, persuading people to hire you just talking about yourself like if I just walked up to you randomly and you'd never met me before and I said hi I'm Maddie I love like long walks on the beach and like I travel a lot and I just like I'm so in love with like traveling and telling stories great like so what my very question is like so what like so what Maddie like why like why does that matter like it doesn't matter like that's not convincing that's not uh, that's not persuading a a a anyone. In order to persuade someone of something, you have to make it very clear, like extremely, extremely, like impossible to miss that is in their best interest to hire you. Like you have to tap into pain points. You, 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 you have to tap into pain points, meaning solving people's problems, helping them avoid something that they want to avoid, or um, and equally saying like, this is what you can get. This is the benefit. This is the clear, clear value. So I know I'm talking a bit like general and vague right now. I'm going to dive in and show some concrete examples. Um, but instead of just talking about you, you have to talk to the people on your site and showcase how they are getting value from you above the fold on your homepage. Some simple tricks is use you instead of I, instead of saying I blah, blah, blah. It's like, if you could rewrite that in, that entire sentence by saying you, you what like so what like what does it matter to the person who's reading the words on your site you have to be able to define what that value is and so this is i didn't realize i mean i did i knew i was going to be tapping into like a much 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 bigger marketing topic and i like this is so much what is like in every single every single little bit like every single video of my entire love photographer course which is launching next week um but basically like this is a really really key piece of all of marketing um and so uh, the other couple of mistakes I saw were people trying to do way too many things with one site. Like they had like 12 different services that they were trying to market and it was really ineffective to have that many services on the same site and specializing. That's a totally different topic, but basically it was, I, I think it's almost impossible to really do effectively market like 12 different things on the same site because you were trying to talk to 12 different target markets at once. It's going to be super difficult. It's hard enough to do it to like two, but 12, that is a lot. Um, so um, other huge issues, like so many photographer sites, not clear call to actions. I was like, wandering aimlessly around and really didn't know what I was supposed to be doing on their site. There was no call to action. There was no guiding me through a process. It was kind of the concept of like, here's a whole bunch of stuff, like explore around. And if you make it to my contact page, great. So lots of unclear navigation, unclear navigational titles. Um, and so many sites that it was just like no process explanation. It's so impossible to know. Like, I don't know what to do next. Like if I was someone who had never been getting, who'd never been to photographer site to, before, never like gotten married before, I feel super lost. This is like a foreign territory to me. And it, you know, I, I, it's, it's like navigating a foreign country every single time to, I get that I come to a new photographer site. That's not like guiding me and like clearly showing me what to do and what to go and what to do next and making me think so hard to try to figure it out. So again, hugely game-changing book that will change your life. And it's such an easy read. It is not full of marketing jargon. It is super, super simple. Absolutely recommend reading, building a story brand. And everything that I'm saying will make a ton of sense. It's by Donald Miller. It's super, super good. Read it. So let's go ahead and dive in and like look at some sites. So um, again, everyone, thank you so much for volunteering. I am going to be extremely helpful and show you the things that are holding you back on your site. 
And, um, you know, this stuff is not obvious to everyone. Like I have been doing marketing for a very long time and have like really studied user experience and how people use websites. And so that's where this knowledge is coming from. This is, I am not saying I'm better than you. Your site sucks. Like I just really want to help. So thank you very much for coming with that same perspective of, um, wanting to learn and wanting to help. And I just hope that this helps people. And I hope that you're able to, um, make these changes on your site. And if you see on another person's site, a same mistake that you're making on yours, like, I hope that that enables you to get more inquiries. That's the only reason I'm doing this video guys. So cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to pull up, um, a site here and then I'll share my screen. Um, cool. Okay. Share, share screen. Okay. So this site, um, I think that it is beautiful. So this is what you get when you come to the homepage of the site. So let's refresh it. Okay, cool. So there's like a little, um, there is some animation and this is, this is the homepage above the fold. This is the real estate that I'm looking at here. So what do I do? I see no navigation. I have lit like pedal and Ivy cute, some cute photos, some nice design, go where you feel most alive. Great. L nice quote. I don't know what to do. Like I'm not, I don't, you did my supposed to scroll. Is there navigation? Uh, like I'm giving besides these two images, which are great images, I'm given no information about what I'm supposed to do next and what I'm supposed to do. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm still seeing no navigation. Still s oh, here's navigation. There it is. Okay. Um, where do I go next? I'm not sure. Okay. Welcome adventurous souls. If you're someone that enjoys thrilling experiences, unforgettable memories, and unique supply of love, then I'm here for you. You're here for what? What, what do you do? I see nothing about what this person does, um, who they're like, what is this service even? Like beautiful, beautiful design guys, but can you see right off the bat why I'm super confused as some, like imagine someone who'd never been to a photographer's site before coming on the site and scrolling and being like, what? Uh, I want to save you time and effort and energy and everything because we're all lacking in that aspect. I have, I have no idea what that sentence means. Lacking how? What, what are we talking about here? I'm here to put something truly amazing together for the both of you to remember for the rest of your lives. Like there is enough, I'm still reading nothing that is communicating what service this person is offering me. This could be, for all I know, a planner or um, a life coach, or I genuinely at this point has not clear to me that this person is a photographer. I wanna help you coordinate beautiful stories. You'll tell it to your children and their children. Coordinate stories, save time and effort. Good, super, super unclear. I am very confused. I'm thinking very hard and trying to figure out what this person does. Okay, a photography, photography, photographs are the best storytellers, all to our time together. Okay. Um, where do I go next? Let's dream something up. What's that? I'm excited. Are you excited? This isn't my friend. Let's get to chatting about your perfect day. Okay. So anyway, I am trying to get through a lot of sites, so I'm going to go through these fairly quickly, but overwhelmingly, do you guys see how confusing this is to kind of scroll through? I'm not being communicated above the fold what is the benefit to me? What service do you offer? Am I in the right place? That's like the burning question on someone's mind within three seconds. Like statistically people give your site three seconds before they decide like, am I in the right place? Is this thing going to help me? And from the homepage of this photographer's site, I'm not being given that information right, right off the bat. So, okay. So let's look at another one. Um, let's check this out. Um, here's another one. Okay share. All right. So this photographer. Okay. So I'm coming and let me close this pop-up 500, get up to $500 off 2020 weddings. Okay. This is a landing page guys, which, um, I did not see a ton of people photographers with landing pages, but I saw enough that I did want to mention this landing pages are very historically, statistically, very, very terrible for um, for conversion rates. Like there are so many people that bounce like immediately when they come to a landing page. So 
I would say like the words on this landing page are better than a lot of the others that I saw. It says capturing what's important. Forget perfection and posing. I'm all about capturing gen genuine emotion, having new experiences to remember, creating beautiful art. That's great. That would be such effective words like above the fold on an actual home page of a site. But basically making someone click twice to get to the home page to be commute to like under like to get there is like absolutely it is tanking your bounce rate tanking your conversions because you have this like vague cta sitting here saying enter and then when i do enter i'm directed directly to a blog and i see this pop up again um and so really like the experience from start to finish of going to the home page like being like great that's a good tagline that'd be so effective like above the like above the fold on a home page of a site but when i get into the site it's just dumping me onto a blog and you know you have to think you want to make it as few clicks as possible for people to get the information that they need to have the burning questions on their mind answered and contact you and i'm now being dumped onto a blog which blogs like they're good like you know you should have a blog on your site if people want to go to it, but it's not one of the main pages that you know every single person needs to get to in order to contact you like not everyone who wants to contact you is going to dig through every single thing on your blog because remember in that moment when they first when someone first meets you like they don't like love you yet they don't know you yet they don't care about you quite yet they are trying to solve their own problem in that moment everyone is moving through the world with like their own story and everyone wants to be the hero of their own story. And like, they're looking for people to help them. They're looking for guides and, but they are, you know, and so when you just talk about yourself, when you just talk about how amazing you are, you're casting yourself as the hero and you are expecting like a response to that instead of saying, no, how, like, what are the things that I do that are actually showcasing value and like that are, are actually giving someone value, helping them, solving their problems, helping them avoid, you know, avoid a failure and like become successful. So anyway, we'll keep moving on. Um, so don't do landing pages. Those are super, super terrible for um, bounce rate. Um, here's uh, another one. Guys, share. Okay. So this page um, is what I got to when I got to the home page um, of this person's site. And um, so they have a couple of different um, categories here. I'm kind of scrolling around. Blink, photo, and film. Okay, um, what do I do next? Booking, pricing, about. Okay, about, if I click on about. Hold on now, what, wait, what's going on here? Um, something, is, something is off. Okay, if I, I just clicked about, which was bold when I was at the home page. okay. When I'm at the homepage of this person's site, uh, the biggest, boldest thing over here is about, but I click on it and nothing happens. Okay, am I supposed to click on Lexi? Okay. Okay, so this is an about page, but where did the navigation go? What am I supposed to do next? Go to this person's Instagram? I'm not sure. This, there's a lot of conversion issues on this site that I really wanted to showcase. Um, Lexi, okay, what do I do next? Portfolio? Okay, that's back to here. Okay, I can look at stuff. Lots of photos. Okay, um, pricing. Okay, pricing information. But what do I do if I wanna book this person? Where, where do I click? What's, where's the call to action? Where's the like book button? I don't know exactly what to do. Booking, is that where I go? Okay, so I clicked booking, but now I have to get, okay. Book, it's 24 seven here. What's this? Is this another site? It's not linked. Get email and SMS about your appointment. Okay, book now. Where is that? Okay, so it's like a scheduler. Okay. Um, yeah, so hopefully everyone can see a little bit about how difficult that site was for me to navigate, for me to figure out, and kind of the conversion issues that I'm running into. This isn't linked. I'm really confused about what to do here. Um, I think call schedulers and booking schedulers are great, um, but it's I am not being communicated to about how this works, what are all the benefits that this photographer is providing. The images look great. I bet this is a phenomenal, phenomenal photographer, and it's such a missed opportunity on this person's site. 
So, okay, let's keep going. So let's see here. Um, here's another one. And I'll stop occasionally guys and check the questions if you want to drop some questions for me. Okay, so here's the homepage of another person's site. So again, all like it looks like the homepage of this person's site is the blog, which again is just kind of assuming that the photos and the photos themselves and that like that at this moment, I'm like, uh, great. Like, I don't know who these people are. Natalie and Ollie, Louise and Ross is not even telling me locations or like type of sessions. The headlines of these blog posts aren't even enticing me to click and know like, like if I was coming to this person's site and thinking, okay, I am eloping and let's just say I'm eloping in like Washington state. And that's who I was, was coming to this person's site. I would like looking at some work that was relevant would be great. I don't know where this person is located. I don't know where they're shooting these sessions. I don't know what experience and which of these posts I should click on that are relevant. I'm going to like take a wild guess here and click on this one. I don't know mid Milne town. Okay. They live in London. Okay. These images are great. This is a phenomenal photographer guys. I still don't know what to do. I don't know where, like exactly where this was shot. I still don't really see like a call to action anywhere. I was being shown like blog posts first. So there was no words. There's no like information about what to do. Um, other, what's other, other work. Okay. I really think you should probably go on a separate site, like having something in your navigation that's as unclear as other. Okay. And travel. Okay. I'm a little bit unclear guys of like what type of work this person does. Like it says weddings and elopements, but what type of weddings and elopements? Okay. Um, I don't know what that is. There's like an error code on this person's contact form. Um, the images are wonderful. Like literally nothing wrong with the images. They're phenomenal. I'm a little just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what service is being provided to me, how that service is going to work, what the price of it is. Um, what the process with this person is, I'm super confused. So, um, okay, so I've gone over a few sites that showcase a lot of like the very common issues that I've seen. Let's look at a few other sites. Um, let's look here. Okay, I'm just like bouncing around guys, um, pulling up a bunch of examples. Okay, so this person's site. All right, so I love the clear navigation. I can see like navigation at least on this person's site that has probably the information I'm looking for. Again though, um, the real estate above the fold and like look how much I have to scroll vertically here. The images are stunning, beautiful. Um, it's like I would just be dying for like a kick-ass headline right here, a kick-ass tagline that just is like bold, punchy, like communicates something about exactly what this person does and like how I'm being served by them. What benefit can you provide for me? Please tell me. I want to know like your images are great. Put an amazing tagline right here. Um, oh, cute. The people in your life matter. I love this. This is amazing. This would be awesome to have like above the folds, bold in here. I think this is beautiful. The design is awesome. Um, I think Ver like from a conversion standpoint, vertically stuff is being designed a little bit tall here. Like it's requiring a lot of vertical scrolling um, to see all of this. I would wonder what this would look like on a mobile device. Um, okay, it's actually fairly responsive. That's good. Um, I have to check out it on the phone. Um, you should remember guys that more than 50% of the people coming to your site are using are looking at it on a mobile device if you do not have a mobile optimized site or a site that's just as effective and converting on a phone that could seriously be keeping you from getting half the inquiries you should be getting so um i think like the words here are awesome i love these words i think that um the design um is a little bit too tall and it requires too much scrolling to get the information that i'm looking for um, but I like that it's talking to me more. I feel like as a person on this side, I'm like, okay, you're realizing that like, I'm here too. Great. Awesome. Like that matters a lot. Um, and I love the, you know, putting, 
Um, putting reviews on your homepage are super, super good, especially when you're asking someone to contact you and be like, yes, the deposit is thousands of dollars and you have never seen a photo that I've taken of you before. You have no idea what the experience with me is going to actually be look like. The more social proof you can put on your site from reviews of couples, the more you can put that on the front center, the better reviews are super, super important to have on your site. So overall, like there's a lot of things going really well on this person's site. Um, but I think that there's um, some room for improvement, especially with this prime real estate above the fold. This is the only part of your site you can guarantee every single person who comes to your site will see. Then you get like 80%, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, none. Essentially, that's how it looks if you figure out how many people are, are on your site. Okay, so let's look at another one. Um, let's look here. Okay. All right. So this is what I mean when I say have some words that sh explain what you do and more and better if you can explain the benefit um, above the fold. So this is definitely more effective than a lot of the sites that I've seen in the sense of, okay, I'm on the homepage of your site, fun and heartfelt photography for adventure weddings and elopements. It's very clear. I know within three seconds what this site and what this service is. I think what could be improved is like communicating a benefit. But what's great is, is when I scroll down, they're tapping into that pain point right away. A traditional wedding isn't for you. Neither is a typical photographer. Your adventurous spirits and love need to be documented by someone who understands why you cut the guest list and move the wedding outside. You need a photographer who gets you. Such good copy. Like that is great. Um, that this is really drawing me in so much more than the majority of the sites that I saw. I'd say like the real estate above the fold is very effective here. The other thing that I want to point out is how important it is to have your, like what your entire site designed for, like website design, you should think of it as a, let me stop sharing for a second. Um, website design, you should think of it as a funnel in the sense of like a certain, like a hundred percent of people who wait for your page to load will get to your home page. So you're starting off with like a hundred percent of your website traffic, which is coming from all of your different marketing sources. So 100% of people are getting to above the fold on the homepage of your site. Then it goes down from there. But how, like, as then a certain amount of people scroll down on your homepage, a certain amount of those people will click on something, either in your navigation or better yet, in like your call to actions, which need to be all over your site. What do I mean by call to action? I mean a book now or book us or inquire or contact me, something clear something direct, something that's not confusing. So instead of saying, say hey, or connect, or info, or more, something like those are not driving behavior. Like being like um, cutesiness and vagueness is like not, there's not a place for it when you're doing call to actions on your website. You want your site to be absolutely mind numbingly simple. Like do not make people think at all about where to find the information you want to make it like absolutely dumbing proof and so the more that like every single the home page of your site being effective is the biggest thing that's going to affect your bounce rate and your average session duration meaning the amount of people like the length of time that someone stays on your site if you're not communicating what benefit you're providing so like if you're not clearly communicating what you do and like what benefit a person is getting in the first three seconds i.e above the fold on the home page of your site there are so many people that are like I don't think I'm in the right place. I'm not being hooked in. I don't really, I'm not being given the information that I know. Like uh, attention spans are incredibly, incredibly short on websites more, <coughs> more than ever, like mind blowingly short. Like statistically people will spend less than 15 seconds on, on, on your site total. But if you're not communicating a benefit in the first three seconds, you are losing people. You are losing inquiries and you could be a phenomenal photographer who has an amazing service and has great reviews but if it's not being communicated above the fold that's an issue so you want as many people as possible to get that information on the home page above the fold on your site what do you need above the fold you need a tagline that is communicating what you do and what your benefit is you need a very obvious call to action those are the two things you have to have to have to have to have above the fold on the home page of your site and there were so many photographers that did not have one and a lot of photographers that had did not have either of those things. So 
going back to the site really quick, um, you can see that the contact button is standing out. It's a different color. So I'd say it could be even better if it was like a big, like bold yellow button. That would be great. And the other great place to put another call to action is right below whatever tagline or next to whatever tagline that you have. And the entire goal of your entire site is, it, it is what, what, when someone comes to your site, what's the end goal? What are you actually trying to get someone to do? For most photographers, it's to contact you. It's to hit that contact button, fill out your form and inquire. That is what an effective site is designed to do. And so you have to think of every single page, the home page above the fold, especially the rest of the whole home page and every single other page on your site is designed to convince someone, to persuade someone, to hit that contact button, fill out the form and get in touch with you. And so the more efficient and the more clearly you can communicate every step of the way, the more inquiries you're going to get given the same amount of people that get to the homepage of your site. So you could literally double or triple the amount of inquiries that you guys get if you make your site more effective. So that's why I love this topic. So um, here's a call to action here. And it's going to the info and pricing page. One thing that I would tweak here is, you know, this copy is so, so great. Honestly, there would be some people when they think, yes, please, this would be, I, I think that this call to action should go to this person's contact page. Um, because I may not need the objection handling and the information on this page quite yet. Like I would be like, yeah, like, yes, please. I'm convinced, like, I need a photographer who gets me. I love this copy. It's great. Like it should be going to the contact page. So um, one quick thing about contact pages, when you get to your contact page, and I talked a lot about this a lot in your Don't Get Ghosted video, your contact form needs to be visible above the fold. So it's like, I can barely see it here, but basically like this is very pretty, but I think it would be a lot more effective if like this banner was gone and I could see like this, it, this is what I was seeing when I got to the contact page of like, oh, there's actually a contact form here. I am on the right page instead of making people guess that you need to scroll. So every single page of your site, the real estate above the fold is mega, mega, mega important. So cool. Um, let's go to a another one here. Cool. All right. So this is one of the favorite ones that I came across. Actually, I love that in big bold letters above the fold on this person's site it says more than just your photographer i'm your new best friend i think that that's great i think that communicating something that boldly that clearly one the site stands out there are not very many photographers putting like that kind of big bold lettering that's communicating value and telling me right off the bat, what do I get out of working with you? How are you, how is hiring you getting me something more than hiring someone else? I'm right off the bat in the first two seconds of coming to this person's side, I'm like, more than just your photographer, your new, new best friend, like, tell me more, like, tell me more, please. And still like a great, beautiful, um, uh, photo above the fold. Like I can tell this person's a great photographer, like all the other good photographers that are out there, but I'm already being communicated to more clearly. So I would say this real estate right below the fold, I think could be definitely more effective if instead of diving right in to talking about yourself, um, instead, um, I would instead go ahead and I, I, I would talk more. I would continue this story. Like you hooked me in. I'm more than just your photographer. I'm, I'm, I'm your new best friend. Talk to me more about that here. Like draw me in more, talk to me more. Like, why do I need more than just a, a photographer? Like, what are the things that you can do for me that are going to be better than, than, than someone else? Draw me and convince me, sell me, persuade me. Uh, that information right below the fold, that's a great place to do it. So addressing pain points and problems right away right below the fold is a really great place to do it. I think that this bio is fun and I like it. I think it's definitely standing out as unique, but I think if it was just like a little bit lower, it would be great because the first thing you need to be communicating right off the bat is what is the benefit and like what like mistakes and failures and problems are going to you can help me avoid and solve and like what are you going to be able to do for me? And so I'm like so sold above the fold, but then it's like 
give me a little bit more here. Give me some more information. Talk to me, talk to me more. Okay, awesome. This is great. I feel like I'm, I am, this person designed their site with the person who was on it in mind for sure, which I did not see on so many photographer sites. Like you're engaged now what? Like, yeah, that's a burning question. Um, like, honestly, I think even just switching the, the order of this information would be good here. Looking at this, if this was switched with this, I think that would be great because this is more what I mean by addressing pain points. Like you're engaged, now what? Um, congrats, that's great. I'm gonna be way more than a photographer, which is why I'm the first people to reach out even before you booked. Yes, honestly, I think this photographer is so close. If they just switched this with that, as I scroll through the page, I'm being drawn into a story. I feel like you are caring about me and what I need and my needs, and you're communicating how you can solve my problems right off the bat. That is so, so, so effective. That is what you need to be communicating on your site. Perfect. Um, all right, what else? Let's look at this one. Okay, so this is another one that I think does a really decent job of the home page above the fold. Only main issue I'm seeing here, this tagline, which is so important, is difficult to read on top of a lot of these images. I would either switch it for picking out just one single static image where it for sure is easier, is easy to read or making sure that every single image in this slideshow makes it really easy to read or putting it on a box or like, um, or something that's making it easier to read. Like it looks great right here. Honestly, you could almost just have that one single image, this one, because it's so easy to read. Timeless images for non-traditional couples, Colorado wedding photographer. Tagline could use a little bit of work. It could be communicating like a benefit to me a little bit more. What I mean by that, um, like if I was re I, if I was, you know, I would spend a bunch of time on this if I was copywriting this site, but if I was writing it right now, I would just be like, um, Timeless images for non-traditional couples, call a wedding photographer. Um, I, you could say um, timeless images for your non-traditional wedding. That is just changing a little bit of the words enough instead of talking about me and myself, like I'm a photographer saying like, get timeless image for your, timeless images for your non-traditional wedding. I think that would, draw in a lot of people that this person has, at least in their tagline, defined as, as, as their target market. They want to create timeless images for couples who are having non-traditional weddings. I think that's a great, um, a great specialty, a great approach. I think just switching around a little bit of those words, just like hopefully that, that, that makes sense of just saying, talk to the people, consider the people who are on your site when you're putting it together. It is not just a you know, a personal like scrapbook of like all the things about you. You need to be persuading and convincing and telling people what you can do for them. So is it just a slight tweak in the tagline of saying, you know, timeless images for your non-traditional wedding. Like I, um, and you know, and I, I think this tagline could be, could be improved. I'm not good at copywriting on the fly guys, sorry. <laughs> um, so, um, that would be great, but I'm seeing some social proof here. That's great. I also think you could instead have like a little like review slider here of just like some words to convince people because um, your site as a photographer, it is not, it's not a personal scrapbook and it's also not a resume. It's, um, you know, most couples don't know like what these different publications mean but what they do know is they want to hear from people who are just like them, who were transformed by their experience with you. And so I think reviews are even more important than publications. So like, this is a good thing to put somewhere on the site. I don't know if I would waste space for it right above the fold. Um, because I don't think that this is as impressive to non photographers, which are most of at least our couples, um, as it is to photographers. So, um, and again, instead of jumping right into a bio, which I think this is a great bio, giving me some more information of like, what can you help me with? Like, tell me more about your perspective here. What do you mean by, you know, timeless images from my non-traditional wedding? Talk to me about that. You know, say something like, 
um, you know, you, I'm just making this up off, 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 off the top of my head guys, but saying something more like you have, you've never done things that the, the traditional way, um, but you still deserve your story captured in a way that's going to be, that is, um, that's going to be treasured, um, for generations to come. Like, talk to me more about that first. Talk to me about that right here and then say, hi, I'm David and this is what I'm going to do for you. But talk about it more, draw me in, hook me in. Like the, t the copy above the fold and directly below the fold is setting the scene. It's hooking someone into the whole story and you need to be communicating um, what you're doing for them and how they are going to be served uniquely by you versus someone else and be bold about it. Talk to the person on your site. So what else do we have going on here? Um, cool. Um, so many guys, I'm not going to get to every single one. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's look at this site. Perfect. All right, so really similar style to a lot of other photographer sites that I saw. We have images above the fold. We have navigation here and then it dives right into hi, I'm Betty. So this is like pretty much the exact same type. Like I would say 80 to 90% of photography sites I saw follow this exact same format. And again, there's nothing like straight up wrong and horrible about a design like this. I'm just trying to communicate how it could be so much more effective, how above the fold right here, when I first come to the home page, I'm, I don't exactly understand, am I in the right place? What service am I going to be provided? What benefit am I being provided? Why should I care? So what that burning question you need to answer above the fold. There's like beautiful real estate right here. So much space to put an amazing tagline. And then other thing that's definitely probably keeping this photographer from getting more inquiries is there's no call to action except for this contact button right here. But it's not obvious that this is what you want someone to do when they come to your homepage. Um, it's not bold. It's not standing out. Um, it's just sitting there. And I, I don't know from above the fold what type of photography this person does besides guessing from looking at some of these images, which look mostly like outdoor weddings. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. The other thing, the other navigation issue, which I see on so many photographers sites is using the term investment instead of pricing. Um, that seems super obvious and really clear as photographers. When we say invest, like what's the investment, we mean what, do, what, what does it cost? But you have to remember, don't come into your site with like that curse of, of knowledge of like assuming that people know what you mean and what information that they need and where they're going to find it. Their investment, that word to the rest of the world, like usually means like stocks and bonds and like investing, not pricing. Like I know as photographers are like, oh, photos are an investment. You know, it's like artsier and like kinder than the word pricing, but it's unclear. And that's the issue with, with navigation. If I was like, great, love this person's photos. I, where do I like, I want to hire them. Okay there's not a clear button telling me like the whole point of this site is to get, I'm guessing is to get that person to contact you, make this a big bold button, make it stand out or put it in the corner or put it front and center, have it right under a really awesome tagline. Um, and then instead of saying investment, say pricing or something so much more simple, like what does it cost or, you know, really, really clear. Um, so those are some super, super common things I saw on so, 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 so many sites is unclear navigation, um, no offer above the fold, um, not clear CTAs. Um, let's look at another one here. And again, so many photographers have such incredible images, guys, and I just want to help you not have your site hold you back from getting amazing inquiries. Here's another one. Um, they're using pricing instead of investment, which is great, but no tagline, no information, beautiful images, absolutely stunning, phenomenal photographer, but I don't, I don't know what, okay. It's Rebecca Paul photography, Austin wedding photographer. This like in the, in the least at minimum, please put that above the fold here to at least know what you do when I get to the homepage of your site without needing to scroll. 
Um, and then I'd, you know, the no call to action button standing out. Um, and then the call to action being say hello. This is where things get real. Check out my FAQ page. And again, lots of scrolling required to actually see the contact form when I hit say hello. And also, I would argue that say hello is not an extremely clear call to action. Um, you know, if I say, I want to hire you, like I want to book you for, for my wedding, like, okay, say hello, sure, but it's making me think too hard. Like, websites need to be absolutely, absolutely dummy proof. This needs to be bold button color standing out, popping out from everything else on the site, impossible to miss guide people through what you want them to do on, on, on their site. They don't know. They don't know what they're supposed to do. They don't know how to navigate. They don't know where the information they're looking for is. Um, all right. Let's look at another one. All right. Okay. So love the image on this site. It's so beautiful and intimate. Um, Mariah Sutton, traveler, photographer, entrepreneur. So this is a really good example of an ineffective tagline because I am not being communicated any benefit to me. Like, I think this person's cool. I'm like, wow, cool. Traveler, photographer, entrepreneur, like what a badass. That's great. I have no information about why I should care. Like, how is this person going to help me? And those are not benefits. Those are uh, brags. I don't know <laughs> exactly how to explain that. Welcome to my little corner of the web. This is great example. No, it should be welcome to your little corner of the web. This person's site was, it, it's, it's interesting reading it. Um, because it says, Mariah Sutton, traveler, photographer, entrepreneur, welcome to my little corner of the web. I'm stoked you're here. While I'm, loca while I'm located in Pensacola, Florida, I serve all the Gulf Coast and Northwest Florida, including Milton, Pace, Pensacola, Destin, Seaside Beach, Rosemary, and all of 30A, along with availability for worldwide travel. This I saw so many, so many, so many times on so many people's sites, bucket list destinations, Greece, Italy, Iceland, New Zealand, Everything that I'm seeing right here in this screen is only about the photographer. It's just talking about them. It's just saying, here, look at me. I am awesome. Like, welcome to my corner. I'm a traveler. I'm a photographer. I'm an entrepreneur. If I was like looking to date someone, I'd be like, wow, cool. Like this seems like a very cool person, but it's not persuading me in the slightest to hire them because as a person sitting here, you know, potentially with like thousands of dollars to spend on a, on a, on a photographer, I'm not being convinced. I like, I'm, I'm not falling in love. I'm not feeling like, yeah, like fangirl, I'm here for you. I'm like confused and feel a little bit like, okay, great. But what can you do for me? Like you seem cool and all, but like, do you care about me and my problems? And like, how are you going to serve me? What benefit are you going to be giving to me? If any of you read Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller, this will make absolutely clear, clear sense to you because what this person is doing is a mistake that so many marketers make in like casting themselves as the hero of the story here and saying, look at me, I'm the hero. I can do all these things. I'm Superman. Awesome. That doesn't help me. That's not drawing me into the story. What makes blockbuster movies successful, what makes marketing successful is understanding the basic truth that Every individual, every person, every single one of your customers wants to be seen as their own hero of their own story. And you have to invite them in to that story. And this photographer is doing the exact opposite of saying, look at me, this is my story. I am the hero. And it's not persuasive. It's not motivating. It's not magnetizing in the slightest. Even though the photos are great, this photographer looks supremely qualified. I bet that they're awesome. Um, but this site is more like a personal scrapbook and then like a persuasive piece of marketing material. Favorite moments over the year, falling in love with a simple way of life in Europe. That's great. That's awesome. But no offense at this exact moment, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I'm thinking, so what in my head, how are you going to help me? And I'm sure this photographer is a great, wonderful, helpful person. And it's like, this is what I want to communicate probably the most strongly out of <laughs> the entire this entire video is drawing people in, 
in your website user experience. Like talk to them. Imagine someone sitting, imagine you walking up to, like imagine if you went on a date with someone and they sat down, didn't even say hi, and they just started saying, I'm, I'm a traveler, photographer, on, on, entrepreneur. Welcome to my corner of the web. I'm stoked you're here. And just like went on a monologue of like, these are all the bucket list places that I want to go. Like I travel everywhere. Let me tell you all my favorite moments from the year. And I'm sitting there thinking on this first date, like, what? <laughs> okay, great. Like you seem a little, uh, I don't know, full of yourself and not like, I'm sitting here too, you know, like I thought we were going to have a conversation, but like, you know, like. I'm not trying to be harsh here, guys. I'm trying to communicate how this comes across to someone who doesn't know you yet. Like this, I think is, um, this, um, this is, yeah, this is like a super good example of myopic marketing. And I just want this photographer to be able to draw people in and showcase how empathetic and what an expert and how much she can help her couples right off the bat. And that's not being communicated on the site. So, um, cool. What else do we have here? Um, here is another one. I'll do like three more guys. Uh, drop whatever questions are coming up for you in the chat. Okay. Here is another one. Um, Sarah Olivia Photo, wedding photographer based in Eugene and Portland, Oregon, available worldwide for adventure and destination weddings elopements. So better than a lot of sites that I saw in the sense at least above the fold, I'm being given information of what service that you do and that you do adventure wedding, adventure and destination wedding slash elopements. I'd say this tagline is a little bit for me, design standpoint a little bit difficult to read especially on this side and i'll also say again this tagline in addition to being a little bit easier to read could be so much more effective instead of talking about just yourself and like what you're available for make it persuasive talk to the person who's on your site give them the information of like why they might want to book you um other thing i would say is again so I'm not being explained clearly enough right above the fold what the benefit to me is. And I'd also say um, it's difficult to see that this is what you want me to do next. I'm assuming what you want me to do of the goal of this site is to contact you, but it's, this navigation seems a bit random of where to go. And this more, like the fact that your pricing is under the word more is making it probably very difficult for people to find. I would absolutely switch that out um, and, um, you know, consider like getting rid of the home navigation. You don't necessarily usually need to navigate back to home. Probably, um, you can have people just click on your logo or something else. Um, you really, yeah, these should be, I, what I would probably do. Yeah. I, um, have like pricing needs to be one of your navigations. It's one of like the burning questions on someone's mind when they come to your site, they want to know what you cost. Um, so having it buried under a navigation title that says more is uh, challenging. And um, I'd say these kind words instead of, uh, great, you can totally have a standalone page for it, but I think it'd be better if they were just like weaved throughout your entire site because that social proof is super, super important. Um, Hi there, I'm Sarah, here to document your love. I think this is great. This is a good example of like, the Hi, I'm Sarah is a smaller font size than I'm here to document your love. That's great. That helps a lot. So this is a more effective bio right below the fold. I think it could be, it could be more effective still for sure. Um, and I think in general, as you're going through your entire site, count how many times you say I and my and we and um, our and all of the I and like personal pronouns, like the first person pronouns, count how many are on, on your site and try to get rid of 80% of them and replace them with you. Replace them with talking to whoever is on your site. That will do massive, massive wonders for how convincing and persuasive your website is to getting people to contact you. So talk to them because when you say you, blah, 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 you're mentally putting yourself in that person's shoes. So 
Let's look at two more. Let's see. Here's one. All right. So this is probably one of the most beautiful sites that I saw and also probably one of the most ineffective <laughs> signs that I saw. It's stunning. Like it's artistically beautiful. This should be in a gallery. Beginning and end photography is super artsy. I'm trying to squint. It says reimagining intimate weddings. Cool. Great. But these little brackets here, at first I read it, I reimagining intimate weddings, I. Um, super, super small. So hard to read. Please make your font size bigger. That is most likely very much tanking your mobile SEO as well. Um, no navigation, no call to action, extremely small, impossible to read tagline. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm in the right place. All I see is a beautiful image. It's stunningly designed. Okay, I'm scrolling down. Doubt thou the stars are fire. Doubt that the sun doth move. Doubt, 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 sorry, I'm a bad reader. Doubt truth to be a liar but never doubt I love in love. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm lost. I think this is artsy as hell and beautiful, but I am so confused and like not convinced here. This is not an effective website. So, oh, hey, I'm Ashley. My love for elopement photography. Okay, great. And this is the first time I'm understanding that this person's an elopement photographer. Um, yeah, man, such a missed opportunity. I think a huge big tagline, we're in the navigation. It's beautiful, but it's not effective. To, like, like literally just that click made this site a lot easier to navigate. Um, about portfolio, you got investment again instead of pricing contact none of the CTAs is standing out no CTA still no CTA still no CTA okay this goes to the portfolio beautiful artsy quotes I'm sorry I had a very difficult time reading that I'm not the best reader but I don't even know what this is supposed to say and how that's supposed to be convincing me this is just not the place for it um you could put this like in a blog post or in an Instagram story or you know, put a quote on a couple's album or in a gift that you give them, not on the home page right right below the <laughs> of your of your website. Sorry. Come here, Finn. Come here. Okay. Oh, no, there's someone outside. Um come here, baby. All right. Come here. It's okay. I know. Um I know. Hey, go to Um, yeah. All right. Again, one of the most beautiful sites that I've seen, beautiful images, super ineffective. So hopefully everyone is kind of getting, getting the idea here of massive conversion issues. Oh, let's see. We'll do one last one. Okay, I wish I could get to all of everyone's guys, but here we go. Um, all right, so homepage here. I photograph people who are in love. Good, at least I know what you do. You're a photographer who photographs people in love. Um, and I think, yeah, you have your logo on here twice. And no obvious like other benefits that I'm getting. Um, I scroll down. Okay. And I'm, these are different portfolio sections. And then there's, there's nothing. There's no call to action anywhere on this homepage. It only exists in the navigation, but it's not bold. It's not stood out. Um, 
there's just, there's no text or information anywhere, no copy on this whole home page. And I think this is just another good example of thinking images alone will make you say, I think images are beautiful, but I don't know anything about your service or why I should pick you over the other thousands of wedding photographers that I know exist and I'm looking at. Um, yeah, so um, I am gonna pull up my own site here just for a second um, to show just, you know, nobody's site is perfect. Even my own, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, there's like 10 things I want to improve. But just to be super clear about what I mean when I say the real estate, your home page above the fold, that real estate right there is so incredibly crucial, is the fact that it's the only part of your site that 100% of people who are coming to it will see. So what do I mean by bold CTA buttons, call to action buttons above the fold? I have two of them here and tagline no one can come to my site and not understand that i'm a, that i'm a not that i'm an elopement photographer and then what do i do to hook the person in like i'm an elopement photographer and guide to your wildly different wedding experience that's completely yours what other benefits am i communicating it's relaxed and stress-free it's intimate and meaningful it's unique and adventurous when you scroll what am i doing i'm talking to my target market i'm drawing them in hooking them into a story then we talk about ourselves. Then we have more reviews. Then we can, people can learn more about us. Call to action. Call to action. Calls to action everywhere. You know, on our About Us page, you want, when someone gets to a place on your site that they're like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm convinced now to not have to look very hard at all to find <laughs> a contact button needs to be incredibly, incredibly clear. So that's really what I mean by the real estate above the fold on the homepage of your site being super important. So a couple of lasting tips here, make sure your website loads incredibly quickly. If your site has more than a three second load time, that is dramatically affecting your bounce rate and your SEO. Definitely like so many photographer sites because the images are so big, take forever to load. So use, Another great um, plugin for WordPress called Short Pixel, or if you use Squarespace, you can like manually resize the images through a Short Pixel. Um, it's even better than JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini is good if you're not already using JPEG Mini, you should be. Um, but Short Pixel is even better. It makes them even smaller, so you don't lose any resolution or image quality. But it makes the file size way smaller, makes your website load so much faster. Speed, mobile friendly. The real estate above the home page above the fold on your homepage is so, so vitally important on the desktop, on a mobile. It needs to have information of what your service is, but in a way that is specifically communicating the benefit, the like answering the question, so what, why should I care? How are you making this something that I should, that, that, that matters to me, that I should care about? How do you talk about something in a way that is communicating that? You need to address pain points, solve people's problems. You need to draw them into the story in which like they are the hero and you are the guide. Read Building a Story Brand. It's a super, super, super good book. Um, okay, so checking the questions really quickly. Um, if anyone has specific questions about their site, if I went over it in this video, feel free to message me. Um, and yeah, so one last tool that I will recommend is to check out a tool called Hotjar, which is sweet if you want to be able to actually see what I just did. If I like went on your on went on your site and just like opened it for the first time, not knowing what's there and trying to navigate it. If you want to see where people are getting confused on your own site, install Hotjar. It's free for like three pages on your site. You can literally see exact recordings of every individual user who comes to your site and like what they do. Where do they scroll? What are they looking for? Where are they hovering over? What are they clicking on? How are they navigating your site? And it is mind blowing the information that you can get from seeing just how people who have never met you, who don't understand the industry, who aren't photographers, who don't know where the information on your site is, try to figure it out. And that's why I'm making it as simple and as easy as possible because every single site is like a foreign country to each person as they visit it for the first time. And so make it clear, make it simple, make it just like, 
absolutely dummy proof all of your navigation. Don't try to get art and artsy and cutesy in your navigation. Clear call to actions. Make it mind-numbingly simple of like what you want, what you do and what you want this person to like, what the goal is of your site, what you want this person to do. If you want people to be contacting you, be persuasive in your copy. If you need help with that, hire a copywriter. I talked how to find amazing copywriters in my last outsourcing video. So thank you guys so, so much. And I hope that was really helpful. Thanks every single person who volunteered to let me use your site as an example. Um, I hope that it helps you and that you're able to learn and grow and that everyone else, there was so many sites that had these exact same challenges. And I hope that this helps every single person to watch it and to get more inquiries and to step into the shoes of the person who is on your site and imagine like at that moment, what are you looking for? What issues, what problems do you have? What burning questions are on your mind? And, you know, I just want more photographers to be like showcasing the amazing value that they have because there's so many incredible, talented, wonderful photographers who are not getting enough inquiries and not getting enough business and struggling. And I think a website is like a huge, huge piece of that. And I want to help. So thank you very much, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.